Hi, I'm Linda Hargrove, and I'm reading from one of my books that um, I wrote last year. It's called Endless Rainbows. It's a short excerpt from this last book in the series, The New Land Road, Southern Small Town uh, Romance Series that I did. And this is the story of Johnny and Leslie Ray. Uh, many of you may have enjoyed Leslie Ray in the previous book where she's coming into the small town, sort of a fish out of water, city girl meets country boy. Uh, so I was asked to um, marry them off in, a, in, in the next book. So this is that story. But there's a little bit of a, um, a tension here. Uh, Will they get married? Will they or won't they kind of thing? So this is Johnny's side. He's kind of uh, met the opposition, the boyfriend that came into town. So his vision was to share this new life with someone special, Leslie. But now that dream didn't seem like it was going to come true. He still hadn't decided what he was going to do with the engagement ring he bought for her because the old boyfriend had come in town, you know, when he was going to propose, that didn't happen. Why did she have to go and interview for this new job at the TV station? The radio job would suit her just fine, in his opinion. Hearing her voice every day on the radio helped him feel as though she was there with him. Sure, she was talking to Thousands of other people, as she announced the latest Andre Crouch or Shirley Caesar hit, but he felt like he was, she was talking directly to him. This new job in TV would probably take her to Raleigh or even further, away from him. Why, Leslie? The brief afternoon shower had ended, and now a bright rainbow formed an arch of colors over Edenton Bay. As he gained, gazed heavenward today, he felt sad because the rainbow made him think of the Sunday afternoon drives to their special spot. A rainbow usually made him hopeful as it reminded him of God's faithfulness and favor. He and Leslie had their occasional spat or disagreement since they started stepping out together, but this felt different. It felt final. Maybe it was the fact that her old boyfriend was casting a shadow across their, his reject, her, her rejection. Whatever it was, he just didn't have the heart to keep trying to force himself into her big city ways. He loved her, something fierce. But if she didn't feel the same way about him, then it was time to let her go. If he was to be the bachelor, maybe that dream was too ambitious, too foolish. What good was having a big house on Albemarle Sound if he had no one to share it with? By two o'clock, he aimed to be in Columbia, knocking on the door of his next client. It was north of downtown. The TV station where Leslie worked was south of town limits. Columbia was a one stoplight town, just barely bigger than Cresswell but he knew how to stay under the radar. Their paths would not meet if he had anything to do with it. Lord, he prayed, his gaze on the bow of colors above the clouds, but his heart was on Leslie Ray. Work it out for us, Father. If you want us to be married, show me a sign. So that's the end of that excerpt. Hopefully you check out Endless Rainbows and the entire four book series. Thanks. I'm Linda Lee Hargrove, and it's been great sharing with you.